Okay, so we're in Maya. We're going to create a simple camera. Create, camera, camera. I'm going to move it back in space using the move tool just so we're away from origin. Raise it up slightly. And now what we want to do is ingest our image of Chicago. So uh, first panel, camera, select. So we're looking through our camera right now. So if you see in the bottom of the screen, camera one. Now we're actually looking through our camera. Now if you go under view, camera settings, film gate, resolution gate. That's the resolution gate that we have out of Maya right now. Now view image plane, image plane. And basically we're going to import our Photoshop image of Chicago. So just the flat. I sized it down just so it views a little better so it's smaller. And then now you can see the image isn't fitting into our render settings. The image goes over. So if you go into render settings, and I just clicked with the clapboard down to image size. We're not really in any you know, file format. This is from the camera. So what we want to do is actually do the size of our image. So the width. Let's look it up and see what it is. I believe it's 4096. And then the height is 2734. So enter that, and now you can see the image fits perfectly within our film gate. So what I'm going to do is maintain width height ratio, make sure that's checked on, and go down to 1K so that we render at a smaller resolution. Now if we go to camera, settings, overscan, I just like to have that to give some bleed in my viewer so I can see a little bit more around my object. Now Maya by default gives you a grid that you can maneuver around. So right now I'm just maneuvering the camera, orbiting and using the grid as my guide for what would be my perspective. Now if I do create polygon plane, I will actually make a physical object plane, scale it up, and then we'll keep refining till we find that exact perspective that we have in our scene. And then five, you know, gray shaded four in Maya is outline. So basically right now you can see through our object and look at it. Now I'm going to, let's see, increase the divisions on the plane just so we have more lines to go by. So maybe 50 by 50. There. And now we can basically just keep orbiting around until we eyeball something that relatively works well for this shot. Um, and then what we'll do afterwards is I'll create some simple boxes over existing geometry uh, over the existing you know buildings just to make sure that our camera actually really is lining up to this image. So just you know trial and error here now. And you know. I'm trying to gauge it against different buildings, the roadway there. Uh, it looks like it's still a little bit off. 